can see the sign. And holy crap, this place empties out big time. Like, wow. I mean, it wasn't really all that full in the first place, but it really empties out when the morning comes. It is currently 8.30, so I still have 30 minutes before I can actually go anywhere on a 10-hour break. Now, I could do a split log since uh, I spent more than two hours at the... Uh, Continental Building Products in Silver Grove, or Lafarge, whatever you want to call it. It's both, either or. But right now, I think I'm going to go inside, and uh, I'm going to grab that subway, and I'm not sure. I think I might go ahead and get fuel here, too. But we'll get a couple things done. Just getting started. Hey, my air didn't all drop out again. How about that? It's actually drivable right now. Instead of me having to wait, but I'm just going to get closer to the front door. Because <laughs> I don't feel like walking. As sad as that. Well, now I am at this TA in Earl, Arkansas, getting ready to take off once again. Got my 30 minute break, so now I have 5 hours and 13 minutes left to go today. 346 miles to go to the house, but I believe I'm going to go ahead and stop in Texarkana and just call it a night there. Because I'll be able to do that easily in this amount of time even if there's a traffic jam please drive to highlighted route which I'm sure there will be so I figure I'll have about an hour left of drive time but unfortunately it won't be enough to get home so and I'm just gonna park it and we'll be alright I got a message oh finally <clears throat> Yeah, hmm, I need to send a couple messages myself, so we'll get out of here eventually. Well, I was going to park at that Flying J over in Texarkana. Well, actually, I'm still in Texarkana, actually, but I'm actually all over the place. <clears throat> but that place is a little bit crowded right now, and I almost got hit by a freaking Conway driver, so... I wasn't about to try to park there. <laughs> yeah, I'm like coming around the corner and I see there's trucks in the way. I can't go anywhere, so I stop. Okay, I put my flashers on, let everybody around me know I can't go anywhere. Well, this driver who is basically blocking up the entire road at this time starts backing up like he's going to make the right hand turn, turn around the corner. Hang on. Let me get my phone up here, and I can show you a visual of what I am talking about. Flying J. Okay. This is the entrance here. I'm coming up this way. I stop here. Conway driver's up here. And this place is a lot more full than it is in this picture. Okay. So, I'm here. Conway starts backing up. I see he's about to come pretty close to me, so I start backing up. I get to the end of the line, and there's another truck coming around the corner now, so I can't back up anymore. So he keeps coming. He he just keeps on coming like he's not going to stop. I lay down on the air horn. I drop 30 PSI out of the freaking air system. It's like, oh, my God. He came within at least six inches of my bumper. <laughs> that is a little too close, dude. I'm out of here. <laughs> I wasn't about to try anything after that, seeing these people trying to park their uh, tandem, axle, tandem axle trailers and having so much difficulty, I'm like, oh god, forget this, I'm not going to be able to back up in here, I'm out, I will find another place to park, I had an hour and 17 minutes left to drive, so there was no issue with me needing to find another place to park, I mean, I've got a couple saved in my GPS that are down US 59, 
but yeah. No. <laughs> so I actually still have 11 minutes and an hour, and I'm just parked in this Texas Welcome Center that I didn't even know was freaking here because I'd never seen it before. But it is right here. Yeah, so that's great. And the engine is still running because I am doing up some taco soup here with a lot of cheese and Fritos. So, <laughs> yeah, good stuff. And it is currently 8.15. And I have 13 miles. Why do I have 13? Oh, they punched in a little oops, rest area on 59 that I thought I was going to go to. And I didn't realize this place was here first. So, go away. I don't care. Oh my god. I have 95 miles to the house. So, I figure I'll probably get up around... <laughs> well, I can start driving at 6.07, but I doubt I'm going to do that. <laughs> Why would I bother getting up so early when I don't have to, you know? So, we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. I'm out of here. Let's make some food!